Hi there, Chris here. So I've been doing a lot of sewing and it's time that I clean and oil my machine. I will admit I'm not the best at doing this as often as I should, but today as I was sewing, my machine started making a noise that it normally doesn't. Nothing bad, but as you use your machines more, you just get to know what they sound like and when something's slightly off. So let me see if I can catch the noise that it's making so you can hear it. So what I'm hearing, in case it didn't pick up on the microphone, it's almost like a little thud. Um, I suspect what is happening is there is a condensed ball of lint somewhere that's getting compressed and moved, rubbing up against something else. So I'm going to take this part apart. This is all stuff that you can do at home to maintain your machine by yourself. In addition to taking it in for its regular maintenance, this is what you can do in between that just to prolong the life of your machine and how often you have to take it in for maintenance. So I'm going to take the bed off here. And then in here is the main part we're going to be cleaning. Most machines come with like a short screwdriver of some kind, whether it looks like this, just a flat piece of metal, or as a screwdriver just with a really short handle. So you'll need this to take off the two screws on the sewing plate here. I am sewing on my Juki TL2010Q. Every machine is a little bit different, so definitely check your manual. So I just took my stitch plate off, and now I can get into here where all of the lint is trapped. I'm gonna take the foot off just so I can get better access, and I'll take the needle off as well so I don't poke myself. So I'm gonna be using these little sewing machine cleaning brushes. They're very small, so they can get into tight places. You can also use Q-tips, just be cautious that it doesn't leave any of the cotton behind, because then that will defeat the purpose of cleaning out the lint. I think I see what is causing the noise, so let me flip the camera around and show you. So I think it is this part right here. You can see this lint. That's a compressed ball of lint. And what happens is in between these teeth, that's where it hits the bottom side of the stitch plate. So when stuff gets stuck in there, it will rub up against the top of the stitch plate. So I'm just pulling little bits of lint out, trying to get as much as possible. And then I am going to use a little hand vacuum to try and get the loose stuff. I don't recommend compressed air when cleaning out your machine. What can happen is as you're blowing and it's dislodging all of the lint, it just pushes it further and further into the body of the machine where you can't reach it. So that will end up being a lot more costly to have it cleaned because you'd have to take it to a repair shop to do that. Want to make sure the bobbin case is nice and clean. Now this machine also has kind of a trap door in the bottom for cleaning. So let me flip it onto its backside and show you that. So right here is an access panel. You can pop that off and access even more area to get all that lint out. Now before I flip it back up, I'm going to pull out the hand vac and get some of this loose lint captured. You'll want to make sure that the tension discs are clean as well. So lift the presser foot to release the tension and you can just make sure there's no lint caught up in there. Give it a little wipe down. And then I'm going to wipe down the entire machine just with a, some very mild cleaner and a wet rag just to get all the rest of this lint, get it looking really nice. Then I'll oil it. Just a light spray to wipe it down and get all of that lint off of it. Now let's reinstall our cell plate. All right, now let's do a quick oiling. So I've got my sewing machine oil here, and there are one, two, three, four, six spots to drop in oil for this machine. If you're not sure where the oiling spots are for your machine, be sure to check your manual. If you don't have a manual, you can Google the model of your machine and usually find them. So most oiling spots on machines, they may have a, a mark on them or a dot of red paint, but it almost looks like a screw hole without any threads and without a screw in it. I have on the 
bed of the machine, one right here. There are two screw holes in front of it, but this is the oiling hole. There's also one back here. There are two here and two here. So let me show you those. So it's this hole right here in the back and this one right here. So we're going to take our oil and really just put in like two or three drops. It does not take a lot. And then on top, you can see down though, see there's no threads and there's no screws. So we'll put two drops in there, two drops in there, and then the same back here. And that's it. And so that's basically it. It's not very hard to do. It can be a little time consuming. You have to take some pieces out to get it all cleaned up. It's something you really should do more regularly. If you are an avid sewer like I am, I should probably do this every couple weeks, at least every month. But I typically go two to three months pushing it uh, to prolong the life of your machine. The more often you do it, the better. Thanks for watching.